Amira is the child of Ball, but also Boo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't tell me. No, just kidding. I've been good, Mario. Cheers to you too, rides his mug of plain tea. Ooh, you have your tea? What kind of tea are you drinking? You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. <laughs> waylaid! Yes, we are definitely Get being me waylaid. out of this hell hole. <laughs> nice, Peter Parker. Half God, half yes. I hope that you're enjoying your tea, Mario. I've been doing great. It is very hot here, so I'm not drinking tea. I've got some water. During our break, I might go grab myself a beer or sparkling water, some, some other kind of cold drink because, whoo, got the fan on, got the window open. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing really it? well. It's so good to see you, my friend. Do you need something? Oh yeah, we changed Amira's voice now. Tell me, whatever you need. Whatever you need. Hmm? Hmm? Yes? Yes. I'm just gonna rise it a little bit. I feel like it should be a little higher, but maybe, maybe Amira's voice is, is um, changing. <laughs> Sighs and gets raised some iced tea. Thank you! <laughs> okay, what are we doing here? Hexat's request. That is the quest that we are doing. Dragomir's corpse lies in its final resting place, but something in this tomb still calls out to Hexat. Okay, so we continue. Very well. We continue. I think that we have to keep going this way? Maybe? Hard to see. <gasps> Daniel! Oh my goodness, how are you? Cheers! Thanks for the hydrate. How are you doing, my friend? Sending you hugs. I hope that life is treating you well. And thank you for the hydrate. Always taking care of me. Who goes there? I've been away for too long. Hoops has entered the tavern. I'm just imagining Daniel like busting in like, hydrate and stretch everybody. <laughs> oh, I need to stretch too. Hail hydrate. You only played this EE quest maybe once, nice. Oh my gosh, tis I. No more dancing in this fight loose. <laughs> Daniel has arrived. The sheriff is back. <laughs> Daniel, how are you? Happy Saturday. Cheers, my friend. Seriously, hey, hey, and how are you? I'm doing so well. Yeah, I'm I'm warm, but I'm happy. We got to go rock climbing today. I went on a nice walk yesterday. I've been listening to In the Heights. Y'all, I'm so excited for that movie to come out. Anyone else an In the Heights fan here? In the Heights. Back from being an adult. Oh my gosh, how is adulting? I'm so proud of you. Are you drinking anything yummy tonight or eating anything yummy? What's the, what is up in your life? Don't go into the pantry. Lou is cleaning. <laughs> she is. Daniel's a boo spawn. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, your new special someone. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I'll stop blasting out your eardrums, but I'm excited for you. That is so great. How was that? I hope that things are going well with your special someone. Tequila for Daniel. Hey. Face about when there is evil to be fought. Do you need something? There is no glory in watching the grass. Not a problem. Animan, we are catching up with our dear friend Daniel. How dare you? This guy. The nerve of this guy. Okay, detect traps. Do you please. Please. What do you want? Okay. Tell AI me. is on. I need that. Two point. I punch. Oh wait, nobody has their <laughs> has nothing on because he died last time. <laughs> oh no. Oh, uh, I think he had Mail of the Dead on. Which one's better though? I think that I think that Mail of the Dead is better than Plate Mail. Oh, technically, okay. Is it is it worth it? Um. Okay, it seems like he should wear the plate. Okay, okay. What else do we need to give him back? Where's his sword? Give him his helmet. There's his sword. The sword of chaos.
There you go. That's looking better. Does she have anything on? Nope. I like her outfit though. That's a nice color. I'm partial to green. Well, and we don't have a short bow, so we can't give her arrows currently, but she has this dagger thing going for her. That's good. What is this? Cloak of Dragomir. <gasps> Wearable only by vampires? Wait, is she a vampire? I guess not. Okay. She's got a dagger. We're all good. Whatever you need. We're fine. <sighs> you know it for, uh, oh, Sunrise from a Playlist. Nice, Tabby. I know. I really need to play. I'm, I was so sad I couldn't on Thursday, but it was good. We actually saw some friends. Mm -hmm. We went to a beach with some friends and went walking. It was a very cold beach, though. Um, NorCal. <laughs> um, and that was really, really nice. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't cancel on them. But I hope to be free this Thursday for Doodoo. You want to see In the Heights because Lynn Manuel Miranda, but I don't know outside of Hamilton. I'm not a musical person. I think you would like it if you like Hamilton. It's It's got a lot of similarities. Um, it was so great. Yay, Daniel. Oh my gosh, yes. Significant others do take a lot of time, but they're worth it. <laughs> if you find that person who just makes you happy. Oh my gosh. I'm so, so glad for you, Daniel. Yay. Time sacrificed well, exactly. Oh, Fo! I'm so glad. Thank you for seeing. Thanks for sharing that. You're the best. Big hugs. Tavern group hug. <laughs> I love you all. <clears throat> Dula! Oh, I'm back again. Okay, y'all, give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Okay. Oh, mince, mince, cause my sword. Okay, you have my armor. <laughs> I'm just like imagining all the like personal items. You can't keep anything too personal on you, you know? It does seem sus. I'm very nervous. <laughs> Aries, your BGSO. Nice. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, you go first. So That seems to work. Yes, as you wish. Who's lighting the torches, y'all? Again, I wonder. Uh, what is this? <gasps> what on earth? Who the... Is that her? The sleeper. She wakes. Mistress, I've done as you command. Please let me live. What? Forgive me, Clara. This is the only way. Wait, what? Hexat and Hexat? Fangs sink deep into Hexat's neck. Her eyes roll back into her head as her life force is drawn out by the vampires? <gasps> what? Wait, so that wasn't Hexat? Good to finally meet you. Oh, Hexat is a different person. What a twist. Amira, good to finally meet you. <laughs> um, what? Who is this? Also, I love you. <laughs> Did you say meet or eat? <laughs> I wish I could say the same. Who are you? I am Hexat. Try and keep up. And the person whose blood you just guzzled? A pawn in a game I've been playing a long, long time. Her sacrifice was unfortunate, but necessary. What? What gives you the right to make that decision? If we are going to work together, there's something you need to know about me. There is nothing I won't do to stay alive. Nothing. Do you understand? What? Wait. You're assuming that we're going to work with you? We just met you. I've 
gotta say, that doesn't make it- that doesn't exactly make working with you sound tremendously appealing. I'll make it worth your while. Two hours at the coronet. The false Hexat has served her purpose, freeing the real one and giving her enough energy to venture forth from Dragonmere's tomb? Oh my gosh, the woman who called herself Hexat was not but a puppet of the real thing. A vampire trapped in Dragomir's tomb. Hexat used his cask to mentally dominate the false Hexat and lure us to free her. The false Hexat was turned into a night meal for the real one? Yikes! I kind of really want her on my team, but I don't know if that fits done. with our like good neutral vibe that we've got going here. Sharks, not words. Do you need something? At this once. is so interesting. <gasps> okay, okay. We're gonna go meet her at the coronet because I'm fascinated to see what she has to say. Where is it? Where is Dragomir's cloak? I mean, we had given it to the other hex that. <laughs> oh. Sounds good, Daniel. Oh, it's so nice of you to stop by and say hello. No, no pressure at all. Do your thing. You come first. We love to see you, of course, but like, do your thing. We love you. We support you. It's so good to see you. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. That's so sweet. Homest is in this dungeon. <laughs> yes, take as much time as you need. Hello, commanding. I'm playing on PC. I didn't know you could even play this on Switch. Cool. Hello, Captain Robbie Rob. Ruh -ruh. <laughs> How are you doing, Captain Robbie Rob and Commanding Sins? Meet Hexat, apparently. <laughs> Kinky? <laughs> uh... Yeah, Clara did not seem very happy. <laughs> Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. But I suck the blood out of your friend, so partner with me, baby. <laughs> it's tempting. What's a little bit of bloodletting between friends? <laughs> oh my gosh, Eleanor and real Eleanor. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, she didn't take our blood, that's true. Not yet. <laughs> oh, y'all know I'm excited about Baldur's Gate 3. And the Shekshu vampire that we might meet there. <laughs> I've seen the videos. I've seen them. Uncle Booby, hello! Oh my gosh, that name. You love this game? You've been playing since 98? Well, welcome to the tavern. You're in the right place, my friend. How are you? I have all the EE games on Nintendo Switch. No way! That's so cool! One of my favorite games you play the first one? Heck yeah. Yeah, we finished the first one like a month ago, or maybe a little longer than that, and then went straight into the second one. But we played the original first one, not the enhanced edition first one. Um, so I got the total OG experience, like vanilla 98 experience, which is so cool. Hydration station. Thanks, Aster. Bastorian, yes, that's the one. Forgot his name for a second. <laughs> Twitter timeline's very full with that vampire indeed. Yeah, I did need to drink down that thirst. I'll get that bonk command ready to go for tomorrow, y'all. I'm working on it. No, you can post a clip. Go for it, Gord. Asterian's gate. Ah, indeed. Oh my gosh, you can lift that. <laughs> Amazing. Is it Asterion or Astrarion? I don't know how to say his name. Basteria, and I'm just gonna call him that. The hot vampire. It had to be good. Okay, um... Dragomir's cloak. Uh, it's Amira's cloak now. Sorry! Uh, the vampire's rag? I've got it. Give it to me. It seems Hexat needs Dragomir's cloak, which she believes will protect her in the world above. She didn't tell me that, but cool. What's the magic word? <laughs> oh my god, can we please say that? Amira wouldn't say that. I need to make like a sassy character who would say that. Very well. Ah, it feels like I'm wearing a wet rug and is nowhere near as fetching. What's the matter? Nothing. 
It's nothing. For a moment, I felt different. The protection spells were rougher than I expected. Hmm. So you're all right? Fine. I'm fine. There's business I must attend to. Meet me at the coronet in two hours. Is that a good idea? Perhaps you should stick with me for the time being. You're right. If Els waited this long, another few hours won't hurt him. Who's Els? <gasps> Hexat requires Dragomir's cloak to walk in the daylight. Oh, that is handy! Cask of Dragomir. The cask of Dragomir was constructed by his followers when they realized that his vampiric lust for power and destruction would ultimately be their undoing. Ooh. Both fearing and respecting Dragomir, they decided to immobilize and entomb him rather than attempt to destroy him. In pursuing this plan, they crafted the cask. When placed upon the head of an undead creature, powerful magic stuns the wearer and prevents them from moving entirely while the cask remains on their head. Hexat, not realizing this, erroneously woke, from Drag woke Dragomir from his slumber when she attempted to steal the cask. <gasps> It's a powerful nexus of undead magic and has many interesting properties that go beyond what the creators had intended. Fascinating. Okay, so we do not want to put that on her head. <laughs> Noted. Can we give her some... What, is, what are her skills? Oh. Why are they all red? Oh no. Okay, she's a thief level 8. Short sword dagger club. Okay, let's give her the fake hexat stuff. I guess. There you go. And wait, what kind of bow? Short sword dagger club. Oh, she doesn't even have a bow. Hmm. I don't love that. I like I like a thief that can shoot. Tell me. Of course. Oh, level up! Perfect! Oh, but no. Maybe at some point she'll get another one and we can get her like a short bow or something. But for now, okay, we need fine traps. And open locks. Those are the ones I use the most right now. So just go with those. Cool. Okay. Gather team. Gather my party. Very well. I have a favor I must ask you. We've been, we've walked like five steps, Hexat, since we last talked. But of course, Hexat, what's uh, going on? I need you to hold on to this for me. A sack? Why? This was Dragomir's secret weapon. Well, well. A way to what have we here? Wherever he traveled. Oh, she stopped talking. It gave him an incalculable advantage in the campaigns he waged. He had his trusted lieutenants hold the bag. In the event that he was struck down, the means of his regeneration would be close at hand. Oh, a regenerating bag! Nice. Or is it just a bag to carry him in? <laughs> I'm confused. Also, welcome to the tavern! My new tavern member? Who was it? Oh, it's Uncle Booby! Welcome to the tavern! Cheers! Thank you for the follow! Animan loves a moan. <laughs> Wait, Lou? What? What did Lou do? I'm gonna sound alert on Dr. Andy's channel. I I think Dr. Andy told me that. Um, and he was like, next time you stop by, <laughs> like, prepare yourself. And I wasn't able to stop by during its stream today. <gasps> Hello, Mighty! How are you doing? Oh, L is Lou! I see, I see. <laughs> it was convenient for her, huh? Go for the yes, Lou! Go for the eyes! Oh no, Tabby! <laughs> Aw. Well, thanks for the follow. Welcome into the tavern, family. Vampires turn to dust when they die. Oh, this does make sense. 
poor Hexat. Well, well. Hopefully she doesn't die. What have we here? <laughs> Welcome into the tavern, new tavern member. Cheers to you. Feel free to make yourself at home and lurk or chat whatever you're comfortable with. Thank you for the follow. This bag is my Horcrux. Hold on to it. <laughs> wow, she's awfully trusting of us, having just met us. Hey, I just met you. This is crazy, but here's my resurrection bag. So gummy, maybe. Then you trust me with it? I'm honored. You should be. My life is literally in your hands now. Okay, no pressure. <laughs> hmm? Not a problem. So what did that say? Tell me something. The party has gained an item, Dragomir's Respite. For all his many failings, Dragomir was an ingenious tactician. He devised a special bag of holding containing a coffin so that his lieutenants could revive him should he fall in battle. Hexat has entrusted me with the bag to ensure her survival in our adventures together. That's pretty handy to have. Like, most companions don't give me something that useful when they join. They're just like... <gasps> what the heck? Ah, my eyes! Uh, are you alright? I'll survive. More than I could say if I wasn't wearing Dragomir's cloak. At least I know the rag works now. Hexat? Wait, what? A false drawn trap at the entry of Dragomir's crypt caused Hexat some severe discomfort. Fortunately, she was wearing Dragomir's cloak. If she wasn't, I suspect she'd be ashes right now. Okay. What? Yes. That's... Consider okay. it done. It's great that she gave me the... The cloak and the bag, but like, here it is. This is so interesting. Yeah, most companions when you what when you pick it? them up are like, "Hey, I'm here. I don't have anything for you, but can you help me with this?" As you wish. Locked. I thought we could get out. What would you have me do? Very good. What? Do you need easily done? Wait, so we're not done in here? <laughs> How do we get out? They're trapped. Stop chaos in its tracks. And that's the gospel truth. Get me out! Hex that! How do we get out of this tomb? Oh no. Ah, it is good to adventure in such a place. The blood quickens knowing that evil get is Get so me out of this hell hole. Did we miss something? We must have missed something. Anna Annaman says, The blood quickens knowing that evil is so near. Whatever gets you going, Annaman. Oh, wait, is this a... I'm confused. She said to meet us at the copper... Or to meet her at the copper coronet. But now we can't leave. Do we need to turn the thing again, maybe? Let's try turning the thing. Perfect. There we go. The rod slides free, and with the grinding sound, the entrance reopens. Perfect. Woo! Okay. We're not stuck in here forever. Yay! We figured it out. I like that with the grinding sound. Airy. I would really like to, to go and see Raelis, Amira. We could at least talk to her if it isn't too much trouble. For Quail's sake, if nothing else. Okay, Airy. Tell me. Patience, of course. my love. Now let's see if our ghost friend is around so we can give him his teddy bear back. There he is! Wellen, it's you! I have your little oh. bear! Oh, okay, now, Delon, another child in the graveyard. Why are there so many children in the graveyard? <laughs> um, excuse me, sir. You you look like a warrior. Are you a warrior? C could you help me? Minsk and Boo are the greatest of warriors, small one. I will crush your foes into little foe-shaped chunky bits. Who dares pick on you? Just point the way. I, I don't have any foes, sir. No foes? I am relieved. I trust those who prey on children no farther than they can be thrown, even if I manage to throw them pretty far. And throw them I shall! <laughs> oh. Boo wonders if you need a warrior, or what you need a warrior for when you have no foes. 
I'm lost, sir. I was sent to, to find somebody who could help my village, but I've had all my things stolen and, and nobody can help me. Oh no. I smell a trap. What? Boo is outraged. See his fury. It's small, so look close. Trust me, it's there. What is wrong with your village, small one? How can we heroes help? I'm from Imnasvale in the Umar Hills. People have been disappearing. Some of them have turned up, but they're all turned inside out and mad. Minsk has been inside out and angry before, and it's never a good, good thing. I can't, I can't do his accent. I'm terrible at it. Apologies. Sometimes it frightens even Boo. No, not mad as an angry, sir. Mad as an crazy. Oh, Minsk has never been crazy, no, sir. Being inside out was bad enough. Is there more, little boy? And, and even worse, everyone says they've seen strange beasts out in the hills. Everyone's so frightened. There's even talk of Umar himself has returned. Then heroes are certainly needed. Heroes like Minsk and Boo and Amira. Where is your village, small one? Together we will save the day. I love Minsk. He is so precious. Protect Minsk. Protect Minsk, everybody. I can show you where it is on your map. I'm sure Miss Minister Lloyd would be ever so grateful if you could aid the village. Everyone's terribly frightened. Nothing removes fear better than a good sword and a swift kick in the evil. We shall go to your village and do what heroes do. Right, Amira? Right you are, Minsk. You would? Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. When you get to Imnes... Imnesvale. Imnesvale. Talk to Minister Lloyd. He can tell you everything else. Thank you, sir. We shall go and save the village for the boy. I will crush the evil. All of the evil. Even the small rodent-sized evil. Although, that's more Boo's job. Squeak! <laughs> I hope you intend to go to this village soon, Amira. A visit to greener lands would be welcome after our trek through this crowded city. Okay. Voice acting, hello. Well, we have the whole of Amna around us. Everyone wants to talk what now. Shall we take? Everyone wants to talk now, and I'm just trying to return the teddy bear to this poor child named Wellen. <laughs> Is Greeny here? Greeny, how are you doing? It's so good to see you, my friend. Cheers. Welcome in. Hello, Dr. Niles Crane! Welcome, welcome. This is the Enhanced Edition, indeed. How are you doing? Welcome into the tavern. Get me out of this hell hole. <laughs> I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Amazing, Lou. <laughs> we got you. Anime is a less interesting Minsk to me. Yeah, he's he's very bland. He's like um, it's like a vanilla wafer. <laughs> oh, Greeny, it's so good to see you. The dialogue spam is here, indeed. You were totally right, Peter Parker. <laughs> Sounds good, Gord. Take care, my friend. Okay, what else did I miss? How's the cleaning going, Lou? <laughs> I'm lost after literally traveling the entire width of Om to get here to find Minsk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Enjoy your cleaning, Lou. You got this. Minsk is so sweet, right, foe? Green! Wait, do we still- we have a greeny command, don't we? The tree druid is here to hang out with the drunken druid! <laughs> I'm gonna do my best tree impression. Is this like a willow tree? Okay. That's all for tonight, folks. I'm going home. <laughs> we are Groot. It's unpleasant, but he has one. True, 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 true. <sighs> yes, we're getting a whole face full of side quests. Okay, what course shall we take, Jahira? I don't know. We're just trying to return a teddy bear to a small child ghost, and then we're trying to save Imoen. Like, what? we're not just, like, going on a walk or a hike or something. This isn't vacation. <laughs> Are you asking for a geographical or moral answer? <laughs> that sounds like a loaded question if I ever heard one. 
Perhaps I have a greater duty to the balance of things, and no offense, you might be able to tip such a balance. It is because of what you are. I was merely curious about how you were coming to terms with being a child of Baal. It is important for you to take the right path. Who will judge what path is right for me? Ultimately, you will, but others like me have to, ha have to deal with the outcome. I am Harper, you know this. I should hate for us to end up on opposite sides of a coin. We won't! Why would you Whatever say that? You Very well. <sighs> Who are you? Mama? Mama, do you know where my little man is? Do you have him? Yes, well then, here's your bear. You can go to sleep now. Boop! You have him! You have him! Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I can go to sleep now. Thank you. Yay! We did it! We put the spirit of the child to rest. I'm so proud of us. I'll help however I can. We did a good thing. Woohoo! Level 5 spell. More hit points and lore. Okay, let's get her that spell, though. <gasps> shadow door? <gasps> Wait, hold monster! Ooh. Okay, what is a shadow door? The wizard creates the illusion of a door. The illusion also permits the wizard to appear to step through this door and disappear. In reality, she's darted aside and can flee, totally invisible, for the spell's duration. Okay, that's cool. Spell immunity. Protection from one spell school of her choice. That sounds too hard for me to do. Okay, conjure earth elemental domination. Control the actions of any creature while the spell is in effect. <gasps> you have a telepathic link between the caster and the victim. The target has no option for release. Oh. It can only be reversed by dispel magic? Eight rounds, y'all. Yes. Domination for the win. Uh oh, who's that? They look like trouble. Mourner. Okay. Hmm? Okay, I thought they were gonna come talk to us. I got nervous. Not a problem. Okay, now I want to figure out. Okay, we have the Umar Hills quest. Copper Coronet's rooms. I wonder what sort of secret and illegal services the man's offering back there. Okay, we finished the put the spirit to rest. What about um? Helping Imowen. Can we do that? <laughs> oh, the friend of Quails needs help. Do, do, do. Oh, we have so many side quests. Okay. Oh, the Dryads! Oh my goodness. We have so many quests, everybody. I yes. Can't we go get Imowen, though? That seems important, but maybe done. maybe it's just not time yet. I guess we haven't really been to, we haven't been to these three districts yet. Let's go to the slums to take As a little wish. snooze, and then we'll go to the areas that we haven't gone to yet to get more side quests. I kind of want to get Yoshimo back. I miss him. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, we're in the copper coordinate. Can we talk to you now, Hexa? Easily done. What do you need? What is it? At once. Can I not talk to her? What? So they get to choose when to talk to me and I can't pester them. Of course. Nope. Okay. Tell me. Very well. Well, let's investigate the back rooms and see what nonsense is going on. Eddie, citizen. You're welcome to enjoy the exclusive entertainments offered by the Copper Coronet. Feel free to look around. Okay. Can we do some gambling? Is there a, a card mini game? Okay, I'm sketched already. What is this? Dark hallway. <gasps> Sleeping dwarf? Peasant? Commoner? What is going on in here? Just a pile of pillows. What? How big is this tavern? Oh my gosh! Declare yourself. 
What are you doing down here? This is a restricted area. Leave immediately or face the consequences. What? We got, we got permission. And also, is this a jail? I'm allowed to be here. I'm one of Lettinen's special guests, remember? What? I warned you, fool. Guards, intruders. No! No! He said we could come back here! <laughs> oh no! Tavern foul! <laughs> oh, it's time to reload. Looks like we got to board. What? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I really want to see what's going on back here, though. Whatever you need, it is done. Get him! Get him! Okay, I want to see who this is. Not a problem. And I wonder what the consequences will be. A moment, friend. You are obviously not aligned with our captors. Might I know your name for a moment? What is going on? My name is Amira, and I'm certainly not aligned with Letnan and his men. Who are you? I am Hendak, a proud warrior from the north until my capture by slavers. <gasps> oh! I've been imprisoned longer than any of these men, and survived, though only barely. I have done what I can to aid the other slaves and keep them living through the battles that Letnan puts on to amuse his noble friend, Fiends. I beg of you, please free us! I've never begged before, and yet I do it now so I might wreak vengeance on Letnan and end his sick and twisted enterprise. What? He's been enslaving people in here? Okay, that is not how you run a tavern. Okay. No. Okay, let's, let's try to free him. I have a little taste for it myself. Very well. I will attempt to free you if I can. I truly hope that you will be able to, friend. The Beastmaster has the key to ourselves. If you get the key from him, we will be able to escape. I think it's the right thing to do, to free these people. I was once something of a slave myself, locked away in a tiny cage. It isn't right. We are going to free this warrior and his people. This is a task of great honor. We shall be great heroes for this. Heroes doing heroic things for all to see. May the gods aid your task. Would that I could help, but I shall have to be content with the hope that Lettinen will feel the cold swiftness of my blade. What? It appears the Copper Cornet is keeping slaves to perform its entertainments. Yes. Nuh-uh, they done. don't. Okay, we're not going to reload. They have a child in there. What is going on in here? Oh! <gasps> Oh no, they're doing like animal fights too? This is horrid. I do not approve of this behavior. But I'll take that pelt. <gasps> you fiends. This place is enormous. Oh yes, we you do have, have her quest. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. <laughs> waylaid? Yes, we have Ares' quest in our journal. It's the Uncle Quail's friend needs help or something. Yeah, I think it's chapter two. The friend of Quail, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do Jahira's dialogue is different towards females? Interesting. Domination's fun to use. A pain to be a the target of? Oh, I bet. Any day now, she's not dead. Get me out of this hellhole. I know. Why can't we free the dryads? Okay, we, we should it? we should probably prioritize that. <laughs> Maybe we meant we weren't meant to go that far back. <laughs> they should have let us know. <laughs> A fight is broken out at the tavern. The drunken June is greater than the copper coronet. <laughs> save! Ah, save! 
Hopper Coronet Bad. As you wish. <gasps> oh no! Goodbye. I trust all is well. <gasps> the Beastmaster! Eh? I don't recognize you! Who are you? Uh, perhaps I'll just leave. No. I'm here to free the gladiators from their cells. Hand over the keys, mister. Oh man, we're not making friends here. This is fun. Fool, you'll never escape here alive. Come, Tabitha. Come, open the cages. Aid your master. No! <gasps> no, close the doors! Close the doors, close the doors. Easily done. Oh no. Close the door. <laughs> Hopefully they can't open the doors. Oh no, Airy. Everyone is not ah! We're taking over the ship. I am I. Right, welcome Raiders! How are you doing? We're in the middle of an intense battle. What we're we we're doing we're doing good things, Whatever freeing you. freeing enslaved people from this terrible place. Hello, who is here? The raid science. Welcome into the tavern, Get my friends. How are you? <laughs> Cheers. My name is Ray. Welcome into the tavern. I'm the proprietor and head bard of the Drunken Druid Tavern. Welcome, friends. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh my goodness, a shaved yeti, hello, and liquid fur, welcome in. And Arch, hi, how are you doing? It's raining cats and dogs. How was Dragon Age Origins? Where are you in the game? I wanna hear all about it. <gasps> Thank you so much for bringing your community over here. Thanks for thinking of me and bringing everyone over to the tavern. Wow. Welcome, welcome. I hope that your stream was amazing. Cheers. We're playing Baldur's Gate 2, and currently we just discovered that this um, seemingly innocent tavern is not all it seemed. They're doing some illicit activities, enslaving animals and people, and making them fight each other. It's horrible. They have like a gladiator ring going on in the back, and we just busted in there and we're, we're trying to free everybody. So that's what we're doing currently. <laughs> this game is full of fun surprises. <laughs> Debauchery indeed. Bad, bad things. But cheers, welcome in. New friends. Hmm? Of course. Ooh, give me the monies. Is this the key? I'm yeah, sorry, okay. I can't carry any more. Ooh, and a fancy looking bow. And what to expect. Oh, <gasps> it's a short bow. Let's see, no, can Ari identify it? Anymore. Oh, I'm sorry, I dropped something. It's okay, Ari. Goodness. She makes me feel so bad when I, like, give her an item and she can't hold it. She just feels terrible about it. <gasps> Tweegan bow? T Tweegan? The Tweegans? Or Tweegans? Or Tegans? <laughs> are a nomadic people widely dispersed across the steppe regions of Faerun, but bound together by a common bloodline. The bows they make are specially tailored for their mobile warriors, and the process used is carefully guarded. But the result is well known. Any bow of Tweegan origin can be fired faster than is possible with a normal one. <gasps> Three shots per round! Okay, we need to get her short bow, and then I want to keep her. Yes, very well. Can we keep her, please? Okay, quick save. I'm sorry, I can't carry any more. Okay, we can't. We can't carry anymore. We need to free the gladiators and then bust out of here. We're busting out. Yeah, good times. Oh no, your PC crashed! <gasps> You're doing the Dwarf Noble, that's right. And you just got out of the deep roads. Congratulations, that's so exciting. Very interesting because I've never seen it before. That's awesome. Oh, we love Dwarf Nobles. We love them. I've never just closed the doors. <gasps> what? I, I discovered something that you didn't know, Taffy. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened before. I'm so proud. 
I didn't think it would work. I think they I thought they would figure out how to open the doors, but I guess not. Even the Minotaur didn't open the door. You have the key. You have it. Thank the gods. And thank you truly, my friend, for what you have done. He sounds like he's from Orle. We are free, my brothers. Go now and free the women. Hendak will strike his blade into the heart of our so-called owner. So that he shall never trouble you again. Go and savor your freedom. Okay, no, he's not actually French. He's more like Scandinavian. Praise be, we are free. Free at last. Free at last. Thank you again, my friends. Now, to the task of killing that fiend Leighton. Assist me if you wish. Otherwise, stand and watch the vengeance of Hendak. Oh my gosh, yes! I always had a bad feeling about Let Letnen, Leitonen, whatever, whatever his name is. He was always kind of creepy. Run! Run! The slaves have escaped! Oh, run for your lives! They'll kill us for certain! Oh gosh, hopefully what, what we did doesn't some, backfire, me. though. Whatever you need. I'm imagining, like, all Not of the, them, like, getting killed. We've got to help them. You slaving bastard, my family's blood still stains your hands. I have a feeling we're about to get arrested, though. But I think that this stuff was illegal. <laughs> Wait, whoa. Wait, there's a staircase? What the? Consider it done. What's down here? I'm so confused. I was just following the guy. <gasps> Hobgoblin shaman? Oh! I'm just gonna let them all do their thing and see what happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This isn't looking good. Oh no, not one of those! Okay, I might reload this one, y'all. This doesn't look good. Oh, they're actually doing okay! This is so interesting. Oh, it's time for reload. Looks like we got two more. I'm so curious to see if they can do it. The AI is pretty good. Oh. Uh oh, Hexat, get out of there. I don't know if the AI knows how to take potions. Wait, she's still alive? This is so interesting. Jahira, what are you doing? Okay, we're gonna reload. <laughs> Sorry, I was just having too much fun watching. <laughs> okay. I think the autosave is good. Yes, okay, not that way, are. this way. <laughs> Go! I thought I was following the guy, but I, I think I wasn't actually following the guy. Oh, oh no. You my wrath. Uh oh. Here we go. We need to witness the the vengeance. What? Hendak? You ignorant barbaric slave! <gasps> You're behind all of this chaos, aren't you? Take it out of your heart. No, you won't. Enough, fiend. You no longer own me. And I'll ensure that you no longer claim ownership over any other as well. You have survived your hellish fighting fit for years. You are the match Oh we shall see. <gasps> we have to help him! <gasps> oh, he got him good. All the years of cruel and evil acts that you have committed for nothing more than coins in your pocket. Burn at the abyss. Fiend. This is called karma. <laughs> I owe you my thanks once again. As do all those you have freed, I intend to take this place as payment for my slavery to ensure it is never used as such again. Oh, the tavern is under new ownership. I wish I did not have to ask, but there is one more task that needs doing. The slavers remain at large within Athkatla, hidden at their base here in the slums. 
They have many children, yet that they retain as slaves. I would ask of you to rid the city of this infestation once and for all. Yes! This is what I wish we could have done in KOTOR when Juhani, when we like confronted the person who had tried to buy Juhani. I was like, no, we need to take them so this operation. Thank you for letting us actually do that. I love that. Hi, bears, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Scottish and or Russian accents are great for dwarven characters. Yes, I feel like I always hear Scottish for dwarves. Dwarf Noble is so good, yes. It's your first playthrough of Dwarf Noble and Orzammar. So much cooler with it, I love it. Yeah, I did Orzammar as a dwarf commoner and or I did I did a playthrough as a dwarf commoner and that was super interesting I haven't done a full one as a noble but I could imagine that would be super fascinating very different from being a commoner how are you doing bears revolution to your union wait it was Jason Marston no way that's great oh doing great bears I hope you're doing well too You've discovered the sewers and must defend yourself. <laughs> yeah, that was messy. Spare no one. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not gonna do it. Don't worry, Tabby. Gotta run to sleep. Good night, a shaved yeti. Take care. Nice to meet you. And thank you for the follow, by the way. I missed that. Welcome, new tavern member. And I hope that you have a good night. Or good day ahead. Oh, you're going to sleep. Okay, have a good sleep. <laughs> we need some muses to sing the story of Hendak. We sure do. That would be great. Okay, I did that hydrate. Okay, good, good. Just making sure I didn't miss any anything. Okay, yes, we will rid the city of this infestation. Another side quest, but I'm excited about this one. More slavers in the city? Very well, we shall do what we can. I knew you would not let me down. The compound is not far from here. A dry docked boat just across the way on the east side of the slums. They have a compound in a boat? It may be risky to approach openly. There was talk of a secret passage. Secret tunnel! <laughs> to the sewer, connecting the coronet to the slaver base. Oh, I think we stumbled upon that. But I do not know where it might be. I know nothing of the defenses of the place inside, however. My stay there was brief and very long ago. More children kept as slaves? Boo is outraged by the evil that leaps about the city like a hot-footed weasel. We must save the children, Amira. We must. Ah, a chance to strike at the heart of slavery here in Atkatla. Think of it, Amira. You could make a difference if you wish. At least for a while. Good fortune to you, my friend. Yeah! Oh my gosh, this is so cool! I hadn't... I really did not expect that. At all. This place is a lot deeper than I expected. Look at how freaking big it is! Yeah, quite the compound set up here. Okay, well, I feel like we did some good things. Is that Nalia? Nalia, what are you doing here, girl? <laughs> How are you, Boo? It is good to see you again. I had hoped you would return. There's little here for me. Do you still need another party member? Oh, whoops, she was talking. Um, no. I'll be waiting here until you change your minds. What is it? Not a problem. Not a problem. I'm torn. I Hexod is fascinating, but I kind of want our boy Yoshimo back. And I think we've got that quest to do with him, so I think we might I might swap them out. Stone to flesh, nice. No, I can't carry any more. Oh, I'm sorry, I dropped something. It's okay. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll hold on to this bag for Hexat. But Do I want your email back. Good to see you again. Have you need of my services? Because I am ready to travel if you do. This place is dulling to the senses. Yes, we missed your company. That is gratifying. Let us go then and see what awaits down the road. Okay. You 
would have me leave? I hate to see you leave, but I love to watch you go. <gasps> we can flirt with her? Oh. <gasps> D&D? Oh my gosh, that's so great, Tabby. Azula, oh my gosh. Oh no, I didn't save. Okay, we're gonna flirt with her. But wait, does this- did I miss something with her? Because she said to meet her at the Copper Cornet, but then she stayed with us, but then we were at the Copper Cornet and she didn't talk to us. And it's definitely been over two hours. I mean, we took out the whole underground ring of slavers. Um, yeah, I'm, we're just gonna flirt with her, see what happens. I hate to see you leave, but I'd love to watch you go. Is there nothing I can do to change your mind? Well, won't you just wait here? I have many talents that may be of interest to you. Talents? What? Wait, what? Why won't she just wait here for us? I'm confused. I, I'm scared that she's gonna leave. <gasps> Amaris! How are you doing? Welcome, welcome! How are you? <gasps> Gonna have to go for now. It's absolutely lovely. Oh, Fo, take care. Much love to you. Have a good Sunday. And we'll see you later. Take care. You're doing well. Yay. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Amaris. Happy Saturday. Raise his hand. Wait, Peter Parker. Cacao. Do you know if I, if I have her go... Will I, will I have a chance to get her back again? Or is that like, this feels different than the other ones. I'm open to hearing it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the, the dog waving. So cute. Both of them, Wolf Tracks and the little, the one that Amaris posted. That's so cute. Wait, is she actually the voice actress of Azula? I think removal from party equals no longer able to romance. Oh, I see. <gasps> okay, yeah, we don't want that. Have I seen Bad Badge yet? No, I haven't. I still, okay. I, I should finish Clone Wars first, right? Right? Because I haven't finished Clone Wars. I'm behind. Azula equals, oh, Azula is Nalia. What? That's so cool. Okay, I'm going to... I, I definitely don't want to close an, a romance option for her. Oh my gosh, can we romance the sexy vampire lady? <sighs> I mean, that's who I want to romance, but would Amira want to romance her? Or Animan? I really don't want to have to romance Animan. No, no, no. We're going to romance her if we can. Hmm. An intriguing proposal. Very well, you may stay. At least until I have a chance to judge these talents for myself. Sorry, Yoshimo. We'll, we'll catch you later, bud. I love you. I do not wish to end our pairing before our tasks are done. Perhaps our rest is in order. Are you, sure you want to go separate paths? Okay. Yeah, we don't need your services right now. Sorry, Yoshimo. I just gotta get my flirt game on. It's like not personal. Yeah, just wait here at the Copper Coronet. Okay, cool. Cool. Probably there's not much you need to know from Clone Wars to watch the first two. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, you haven't finished it either. Okay, cool. So maybe I should just watch it. Yeah, Hexa does, definitely does not fit the, with the party, but I really want to know more about her. The other option is Anima. Definitely keep Hexa. I know. <laughs> yeah, maybe I am. Uh, you know, without realizing it, we're actually playing Resident Evil. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Peter Parker. That is not what I was referencing. This is a sexy vampire lady.
named Hexat. But she is neutral evil, which is kind of a problem. In Baldur's Gate 1, if you have characters who have like different, um, are like kind of on opposite sides of the alignment spectrum, they will literally kill each other. But I don't know if that's the case in Baldur's Gate 2 or not. So it could be a problem to have her in the party. Um, but, oh my gosh. Like a romance option that isn't Anomin. <laughs> Very tempting. Oh, y'all. Tell me. We'll see. We'll see how it goes with her. Let's As take a, a nap now. And then we will continue on our side questing. Arcanaloth! Hi! How are you doing? And then there is Anoman. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at all these what jewels. I can carry no more. What was given is now upon the ground. Okay. What was given is now on the ground. Okay. Whatever you need. Easily done. Always be grateful for your assistance. Um can I have a room? Oh yeah, Barnard, I forgot. The other guy. I got some cheap beer for ya. Cheap beer for me. Um, since Hendek has promised us a discount, I'd like to see what you have on tap here. Snooze time. Anyone but Anomen? <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. No! <gasps> Did you hear I have a bad dream? No! What? You must have had a nightmare. Relax, there's nothing wrong. No, there is something very wrong. More and more I feel Khalid's absence. I, I thought myself stronger than this. There's no weakness in sorrow. Only in depression, yes. I remember those parables in Alondo's prophecies as well. Be sorry for your loss, but be grateful for what you have. Oh, Poor Jahira! New ownership. Up in here. You go to a party with Minsk, Jahira, Airy, and others that you haven't met yet? Nice! It's a bit thin for options for female mains. Hex, that was added to your- Yeah, that's amazing. Never really got to explore the EEA companion romances. Fun! LMAO crazy wedge. Yeah, we're not gonna call Jaira a crazy wedge. That's rude. And untrue. Okay, let's figure out where we're going first. It feels like the... The slaver compound is a little too high level, given that the sewers were really hard. Um, oh, Hexat's request. Okay. That's fine. Let's go back. And let's do Ares quest. An old friend of Quail's named Rayless Shy has asked him, him for help. And he seems to believe that we may be in a better position to aid her than he. He has requested that we go and speak to the woman when we have time. Rayless can be found in the playhouse beneath the f beneath the fl five flagons in in the bridge district. Okay, to the bridge district yes, we go. Of course. Greetings, citizens. I trust you'll be keeping your weapons at your sides. I'd hate to have to run you by the garrison if anything should happen. I'm sure there are more important things than me for you to worry about. Just a little girl with a sword. Just a skinny little elf girl. That happens to have 19 strength or whatever. Close to 19 strength. Without a question, but I'm making it my business to warn everybody on the street tonight. With all your gear, you might look a rich target to the wrong person. Heroes of goodness need no warning. Where we tread, evil trembles in our wake. I'm warning everyone so as to get a word out that there are guards on the streets. We've, we've had a string of killings, and I don't want any more happening. Bandits are such, no doubt. 
I've had my fair share of attacks as well. Bandits I can understand. They are easy enough to figure out. What's happening here... It's murder, but not like I've ever seen. There's a- Customly sick person out there. And I simply don't have the manpower to protect everyone. He's been killing paupers, sometimes in the alley where they sleep. What?! Why would someone prey on the poor? What could they have to take? Nothing. They have nothing to take. He kills them and that's all. Not only is it pointless, but he does it in a pain- in as painful a way as possible. It's sick. He flays them alive. There's been blood all over the area. Little Faraji, a local urchin, found the latest victim. I hate to think of a child seeing that. That sounds horrid. I can't imagine anything so awful. Why would someone want to do such a thing? The confines of the city do much to chisel out the sanity of its inhabitants, but I wonder if there is some other force at work. We had best be wary. Enough of this. I must go about my rounds. If you find any information about the murders, be sure to let me know. Don't go looking for trouble, though. I've had enough problems with walkers and beggars. Old Rampa was damn near killed, and a street, wom street woman in the area rose as plain lucky. Don't be like them. Oh my gosh! Murder what mystery! Okay. Oh, I love how we can see what everything is called. It makes so much more sense. Oh, the Temple of Helm! Isn't that Anamon's person? God or whatever? Saint? Five Flagons Inn! This is it! Very well. I do like Minsk and Jahira. Yeah, Aerie is an easy pick, plenty of options for the last two slots. Yeah, Minsk and Jahira I love, and Aerie. Aerie's, oh, Aerie's good. She's such a good spellcaster. Walnuts, hot walnuts. <laughs> is that what was said in the background? I didn't hear that. Half the fun of this game is chapter two, stumbling into all the content saying, okay, what do I do first? <laughs> exactly. My flag is greater than the drunken druid. No. No. Uh, yeah, it sounds like Juhani. Yeah, I feel like they have similar vote. It's kind of like... Spanish, I mean, Juhani's more like Russian. Jahira's like a weird, like Spanish Russian hybrid. I'm not exactly sure what her accent is. I haven't, I haven't quite figured her out. Person God or whatever. <laughs> Blasphemy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. David Gator said more options for romance for female characters were planned but cut due to budget. Lies. Deceit. <gasps> Oh no, just realized I'm no longer patron. No, Amaris! I'm sorry. For a while I thought Jahira and Juhani were the same voice actress, but they're not unless she had a big name change. <laughs> Sad. I tell you, it's only going to get worse, says the peasant. And you can't tell who they are by looking at them. Your this one here is... Your Oh my gosh. What the heck? That's so sweet of you. You don't have to do that. I I appreciate you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you so much for gifting that to Amaris. Enjoy your tavern patronage, Amaris. Oh my gosh. Oh, my heart. Thank you. Sadly, they couldn't find you here as actress for SOD. Oh, interesting. Aww. Oh, thanks for shouting out, Wolf Lou! Thanks for doing that. I appreciate that. Y'all, Wolf is amazing! Big love. And you can't tell who they are by looking at them. This one here was in my tavern just last night. Hush up, you. He was a man like any other. Just because he was in with that shadow thief crowd doesn't mean he should refuse to serve him. I had his own trouble anyway, without you helping. After a few half the city, a few bar shadow thieves probably end up dead too. They don't scare me. Look at this bunch, dead as they can get, and their black little hoods didn't help them one bit. What killed them was a lot more than you could handle. Look! Look at the marks on them. This is a guild war, like they say. It's just going to get worse. Okay, I've lost track of who's who. Yeah, yeah, you said that already. Maybe, maybe I should close up shop for a few ten days. I could use a break. 
You close up when someone spills salt or forgets to knock on wood, you old worry wart. Business as usual for me. Oh my god, I love like the tavern owners like talking to each other. <laughs> this is incredible. We'll see. Guild Wars just mean trouble. Lots of trouble. Trouble, trouble. Ooh, we got trouble. Right here in Athcatla. With a capital T that stands for B, that stands for pool, that stands for pool. Ooh, a little market. Got lots of flies on their apples, though. I don't know about that. Sketch. I'm gonna cry, that was the sweetest. Oh! Tigan. 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 I was half lurking, but I see Courtney Taylor mentioned talk to me. Is she in Baldur's Gate? Is she Jahira or is she someone else? I'm confused. Wolf is spreading love. Wait, you were gonna make tro a Trouble in River City joke? Yes, you get me! We're on the same level. <gasps> Serenade tea in the teapot. Ugh, I can't reach him. Okay. Okay, which song should I go for now? I always like, sometimes I use a song as inspiration, sometimes I just start singing. I'm not Tegan. gonna Tegan. write you a love song Cause you ask for it Cause you need one You're Tegan the teapot And I love you I don't need to write you a love song, baby But I'll sing you one anyway <laughs> Tegan the teapot I love you, I do I love you as much as the what rhymes with do? All I can think of is didgeridoo. <laughs> this is going well. I love you as much as the didgeridoo. <laughs> but Tegan, how do you look so swell even when you're not feeling well? Because he lost his head, if you didn't notice, but he still looks pretty great, doesn't he? I love you. That is all. Good night, my dear teapot. Okay, there you go. Somewhat all over the place. <laughs> the sky is blue. There you go. There you go. Should have done that one. <laughs> She's Juhani! Oh my gosh, wait, that's incredible. That's amazing, Bula. It's your favorite <laughs> I'm so glad you enjoy it. I enjoy it too. Asla is out and romancing Juhani. Yeah! Whoa, she just disappeared? That's so weird. Didgeridoos are awesome. Cheers, friends. That was fun. Raptor! How are you doing? Welcome! Okay, so where was she, this friend again? Rayla Shy. In the playhouse beneath the five flagons in. So down here? Or maybe we should just go in. Into the inn we go. Hello. Samuel Thunder Burp. <laughs> I love that. Where's the Not playhouse at? Oh, stairs. Pleasure to meet you. <gasps> A performance. Your face is a didgeridoo. I'll take that as compliment. You're good. Yay. The thunder burps are dwarves. Oh! I did not know that. Like proud feet. <laughs> A fair eve to you, ma'am. The troop of players is just beginning its next performance, if you wish to partake. We ask that you donate five gold for a ticket, but it's not required. Would you like to purchase a ticket then, ma'am? Very well, let me see this play of yours then. Most gracious of you, ma'am. You may enter the theater as you wish. Just show your ticket to Yon Ushers, please. <laughs> to Yon Ushers. All right. Do you need considerate done? 
Oh my gosh, a performance we could never in life right now. Thank you, ma'am. Go on inside. Hope you enjoy the play. Oh my gosh, we're seeing a show! This is so exciting! Oh, your lover has abandoned me, sweet Lunisia. You have only one option left. Turn us thou to me and let us be wed at last. No, Kiramaldo. I cannot. Oh, Rodrigo, Rodrigo, my fair love, where hast thou gone? <laughs> Rodrigo! <laughs> I love it. Uh, here I am. Here I am. My, uh, sweetheart. <laughs> Biff the understudy? What happened to the main, what Everyone happened to the guy? We are taking over the ship. Oh my, my goodness. Oh my. Code Diggles, welcome, welcome to the tavern. Cheers, friends. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh my gosh, you were playing Legend of Zelda? Hello there, Code Diggles! How are you doing? Welcome in! Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you! Thank you for bringing your community over here and raiding the tavern! What on earth? For those of you who I have not met, my name is Ray, and I'm the proprietor and head bard here at the Drunken Druid Tavern! Welcome! Make yourselves comfortable! We're watching a play within Baldur's Gate 2 right now, and it's pretty hilarious so far, so buckle up! <laughs> welcome, welcome! You love the- it's a- it's from Pirates. I'm glad that you love that, Ferris. I love it too. You know, can't mess with Pirates. It's a great film. <gasps> Wait, what? No way. That's hilarious, Arcanaloth. That's awesome. Wait, now I really want to go back to BG1 and try that. <laughs> Okay, Biff the understudy, do your thing. You got this. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, it is the long last. But where have I been? Uh, across the sea, my fair, um, my fair one. Y yeah, yes, that's it. Across the sea, and uh, say, that's not the earth they had last time. <clears throat> And perhaps on the new lands, my lord? Oh no, this is like every, like, theater stress dream that I have. <laughs> it's like someone pushes me onto the stage and I have no idea what I'm doing. Yes, that's it. On the new lands. Yes. Um, uh, where's the actor that was here last time? Ugh. This is terrible. Awful. Boo. <clears throat> Grow some tomatoes. But is it Rodrigo? No. No, how can this be? Well, you should be. So, um, confused? <laughs> it is confused, right? Oh no. Disaster strikes at the theater. It is baffled. Baffled. Baffled, yes. Well, Line. <laughs> you should look so baffled, my lord. Um, Kiranaldo, twas you who, who, who. Oh, terrible. Get him off the stage. Who, um, which that, uh, in a way... Arranged for me to be shipped across the sea. Huh? What's that? <sighs> yes, you are correct. Mother. Oh, no. Twas I that arranged for thy trip across the great ocean. Twas a, um, truly fiendish of me. But how did thy ever come to return so quickly? Uh, I forget. I'm just the understudy. <laughs> Yo, you're supposed to learn your lines as the understudy, Biff. Come on. I agree. Boo! 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 That's awful. Terrible. Terrible! Oh my god, this is so great. Oh my god, whenever anyone says boo, I just think of the princess bride nightmare. The boo! Boo! Oh my god. Oh dear. Poor Biff. Biff, hun. I, I am sorry, good folk of the audience. As you can see, uh, things are not quite right with our troop due to circumstances beyond our control. <gasps> Raylus, it's you. We've come to see you. What's this? Minsk and Boo were just getting into this wonderful story when it was sadly interrupted. A work of mastery, this is. I beg of you, good people. 
Come back another day when we have restored matters. We shall prove to you then that the sigil truth is worthy of your attention and coin. And we shall do so for free, of course. Oh. And one final odd request, Whisper. If you or another knows of those who are skilled in the arts of sword and adventure, oh. do send them to speak to me. It is a matter of utmost urgency. Sword and adventure? Well, maybe we can help you there, Raelis. Tell them to come and speak to I. Rael is shy. Until then, I apologize again. And Just call me, beat me. <gasps> They're in need of some adventurers. How handy. How, how. It must be the fates, you know. It must be the fates or the muses. Baffled. Oh my gosh, yes, where Willow has to do death of a salesman. I forgot about that. Alan, how are you doing? I'm sorry if I missed saying hello to you earlier. Wait, is it's Anoman? Oh, he's talented. I never would have known. You're still mind blown by the Courtney Taylor info. That's so cool. Well, well. What have we here? Yeah, the voice is so familiar. I don't know if I've heard it before, but I can't place it. The other dude? Wait, Raylus is also Azula? Oh my gosh, what is happening? Oh, bears, totally! I have not played the Witcher games yet. They, I own them, and we will be playing them together at some point. Probably after KOTOR, we'll start the Witcher. There's a theater portion in one of the games that reminds me of- Oh, fun! I love theater in games. It's so, so fun. Hello, El Pollo Diablo! How are you? Welcome, welcome! Someone skilled in sword, you say? <laughs> I wonder if Death of a Salesman and the Crucible have been performed outside of high school in the last ten years! Tell me. Oh. I wonder as well. Hmm. They need a new understudy. <laughs> As you wish. They really do. Can we just... Hey. <laughs> I really tried. Oh, poor Biff. I was about to say, can we just go, like, tell Biff he's terrible? <laughs> now I feel bad about thinking, even thinking that. Raylis, hello! Uh... I am afraid if you are looking for a refund for tonight's performance, I can only tell you to come back when our troop is not in such disarray. Do we look like we need a refund? We've got like armor on, lady. Oh, we're not here to... That is, we've come to help you if we can. My uncle, well, he's not really my uncle. He seems to know you and, and asked me to come and see you. Then you are certainly welcome here amongst us, dear child. I'm afraid you have me at somewhat of a loss. Who is this uncle you speak of? Quail! His name's Quail. He raised me in the circus. Ah, yes, the young illusionist gnome. I heard he'd come to the city, but I had not expected him to reply to my letter so quickly. How does he fare, dear elf? The young? You must have known him a long time ago, then. Quail is fine. He's running the circus here in the city and asked us to come when he received your letter. If this is so, then... Yon gnome has done more, far more than I thought possible. More than fair return for the time I aided him in sigil. Will you help me, child? It's more up to Amira, really, ma'am. I've been traveling with her, but she's the one with the experience to help you. Maybe you could tell us what's wrong? You must hear our story, then. One of our actors, Herr Dallas, has been kidnapped by a wizard native to the city. He has made no effort to negotiate with us. The wizard's greed may have called him at the site. May have called to him at the sight of Herr Dallas's beloved gem, something that our sparrow would not gladly surrender. So this wizard has stolen both away, and there's nothing we can do. I would ask that you return our sparrow and his gem to us both, by whatever means possible. Okay, the the actor she's calling our sparrow, and then he has a gem, and they both were taken. <laughs> that was a little bit confusing. This is a fun one! Yay! I'm so excited. 
Those are the big two that every high school regularly performs, totally. You love this quest? Yay! I'm so excited. Wait, Grayless Shaylissle? I don't get it. I don't get it! The pun is lost on me. <laughs> okay. Who is this wizard and where can I find him? His name is Mekrath, I believe. I know that his lair can be accessed through the city's sewers. Of course! Though where exactly lies the mystery? Hmm. Very well. I shall do as you ask, Raylus. Fly then. Fetch our brother away from his captor, however you might, and return to us soon. My prayers go with you, my good woman. I'm pleased that you were willing to help her. If I remember right, we should be able to enter the sewers in the temple district. From there, we can track down this wizard, Mekra. Okay. Whatever you need. To the Easily temple done. district, I guess. Well, I guess we'll get our free show. I feel most terrible about my burst of temper the previous day. Would would you allow me the opportunity to apologize and try to explain? Wait, his burst of temper? What is he talking about? Sounds like this town needs some Templars with all these mages causing everyone problems. Maybe they do. I don't think Adam has flirted with us yet, but it might trigger when we leave the tavern. Tabby, you called it. You win the prize. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Wait, I missed it. Gotta head home for work. Sounds good, Peter Parker. Bye. Oh. Oh, I got you. I got you. What did I just say? <laughs> you nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> Solution to the mage problem. Oh, no. I like his music. It's very noble. <laughs> he's cute. But he's just personality is... It's his personality, you know? You know? <sighs> Very well, I'll listen to what you have to say. I don't even remember his outburst. I'm most thankful, Amira. Sometimes, you see, my zeal for justice and valor can become too much. There's an anger in my heart that I cannot seem to control. I see injustices everywhere, my lady, and I wish to do nothing but strike out against them. But even when I do, I keep on striking out. The hate and anger only grow. When I spoke to you of fighting against evil, I became angry, but it was more anger at my own inability to be as good and lawful as I might wish to be. I'm sorry, Amira. Truly I am. I am unworthy of my vows. It seems like you just need to, like, toss these vows in the trash and, like, you'd be way cooler. Just saying. <laughs> He's young, yeah. Balls in your court, buddy. <laughs> He's trying way too hard, yeah. Resisting the dark side. Yeah, it seems like, like, I actually feel for his character. I'm mostly joking about, like, being annoyed by him. I just, some of the things he says, I'm like, why would you say this? Um, but yeah, he seems to have had a hard time of it and really just, like, terrible, bad father. And, like, he wants to make, you know, a name for himself and, like, prove himself to, I don't know, someone seems like it's us now and himself and his sister and um show that he like won't be like his father or stuff like that like i get it i get it but he doesn't need to apologize like he's doing fine he's doing fine but yeah this is very like jedi <laughs> everyone feels at least a little a little as you do, Anamin. I'm sure even the most noble paladin feels anger and hate. There we go. I like that. Everyone feels at least a little as you do, Anamin. I'm sure even the most noble paladin feels anger and hate. I, I do not think that is true. The paladins in the Order speak only of contentment, and I have none of that. But I thank you for your kind words, regardless. Again, you remind me of my sister, Moira. I mean, it's cute, but dude, this is- if you're trying to flirt, this is not it. She too has a decent soul and a benevolent heart. You should meet you should meet her sometime, Amira. I truly think you would like each other. Aw, cute. Again, teasing the fact that I feel like we're gonna meet his sister in a side quest, in his companion quest, that is. Oh my gosh, I have a knot in my hair. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Out we go! Must 
Gather your party before venturing forth. Milady. <laughs> I wonder if he'd be less animate like without the facial hair. Hmm? Of course. No. And it would be a wingman for his sister to hook up with Amira. Maybe that's actually what's going down here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is the odds that he's not flirting with you but trying to set you up with a sister? Yeah, there you go. You know what? Yes. I like those odds. We're going to take them. <laughs> okay, we need to go to the temple district and go to the sewers. Very well. The feeling when you're flirting and you say she reminds you of your sister. <laughs> Big yikes. <laughs> Even things are a little different where animants from. But it's cute. It's like... It seems like he really thinks highly of his sister and like, I'll take it as a compliment, you know? He thinks that we're... God, I can't understand what the people shouting in the background are saying, but I love it. Yeah, it's not great if he's trying to flirt with us, but it's like, aw, like, it seems like he really loves his sister. It's very sweet. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. <gasps> Whoa, Talos. That just makes me think of the Skyrim in real life videos. Have y'all seen those? Which is not a problem. <gasps> Turl says, Animan Delrin, son of Kor. I come as the bearer of dire news. Your father requests your presence at his estate. <gasps> Companion quest alert! Dire news, say you? What reason would I have to return to my father? <gasps> no! Your sister is dead, most foully murdered by all accounts? No! Dang it! We're not gonna get with his sister after all. This is horrible! No! Well, that plan is down the drain now. <laughs> Hello, Bohunkus! Cheers! Welcome into the tavern! How are you? <gasps> yes, we met the person for Airy, the the person we just got the quest from to go to the sewers and get the mage. Raylus. Raylus. <gasps> this music! It's like the main menu music. I love it. He is nobility! It's true. How do you take my meds? Nice. Yes, we met Raylus um, with the performers and we got the quest and now we came to the temple district to find the sewers and find the wizard who is somewhere in the sewers. Somewhere. <laughs> the Lannister vibes are strong in this one. <laughs> He's just getting closer? Yeah, 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 that's true. Here we go. Oh no, it begins. His sister's dead! Good thing he laid someone up as a replacement sister. Now I'm so sad for him. Hex, hi, how are you? Who are we romancing now? I don't even know. I don't think we're romancing anyone, but we just got a companion quest for Animan, which is exciting. Ooh, beverage, nice. What kind of beverage are you gonna have? Okay, sister is murdered. Oh dear. Dead? By hell, murdered? How can this be? Why would you say such a thing? I'm truly sorry, my lord. Perhaps you should return to your home as your father has requested. I am right quick. Amira, make haste. We must head for my father's home in, our gov in the government district of Bethkatla. Wait, he lives here? That's not far at all. Let's go. I mourn for the loss of your sister, Animan. I'm truly sorry. We shall make our way to your father's house with all haste. We must discover the truth about this murder. Let's go. <gasps> oh, I really want to go see what happened. Wait, the government district? Let's just see where the entrance to the sewers is there. Okay, cool. High Hall of the Radiant Heart. That's Animan's spot. Oh you my gosh. The drama. Consider it done. The one place we haven't gone, the government district. Where's your... Wait, he has an estate here? Hmm. Hmm. Hopefully he inherits it. This is his estate? Holy what? Dang, boy! As you wish. 
I'm not saying she's a gold digger. <laughs> but maybe she is a little bit. Hello? Madine? Greetings, you're known to me. Or your deeds are known to those I serve. I think I should introduce myself. I am Madine. I represent one of the masters of the Athkatla Order of the Cowled Wizards. He seeks to employ you in a matter of some urgency. What? We're not friends of the Cowled Wizards. <gasps> Wolf is going to bed! Good night, Wolf! Sleep well! You're amazing! Oh, thank you so, so much for being here, for keeping the tavern safe and friendly and loving. And yeah, you're just amazing. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a restful night and see you again soon. Take care, Wolf. Thank you so much. Round of applause for our amazing mod, Wolf. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Normal gaining beverage. Bourbon! Nice, Mohunkas! Delish! Oh my gosh, Raptor. Yeah, same. What triggers the subquest? I don't know. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Rip spelling. <laughs> All good, Hex. Okay. <clears throat> Cowled wizards. Oh dear. The cowled wizards? They're the ones that arrested Imowen. I would be very interested in speaking to them about that. I do not know anything about that. I represent one of the wizards, as I said. A master told Girius. Perhaps you could speak to him of this Imowen? <sighs> very well. How do I go about meeting this Tolgarius fellow? You will be most pleased. Master Tolgarius can be found in the government building behind me. You may go within. Do not tarry over long, my friend. Okay. We'll go there later. We have business to attend to. At our future estate. I haven't decided. I'm torn. Because it definitely feels out of character for Amira to romance a neutral evil vampire lady. <laughs> Dang it! Okay. I'm going to say- or not say- I'm gonna save and then take a little break to use the bathroom and refill hankered, and then I'll be right back and we will see what is up with this dead sister thing, if it's all a ruse or if it's for real. And I'm so excited to see what happens. And then we'll go to the sewers after. Oh my gosh. Animen quest time. Oh yeah, I can't put question marks. Sad. She's a gold digger, kind of. Declare yourself. Lord Animan, welcome home. Your father waits within. He's in the kitchen, deep in drink. Oh no. Wait. Oh, it makes me so sad that Animan's first thought is that he's angry with him. Oh, gonna be lurking. That sounds good. Enjoy your lurk, and I hope that you sleep well, Lime. You're amazing. Thanks for coming by the tavern. I appreciate you. Animan says, he is angry with me? Yes, my lord, nothing has changed. When your sister died, things became worse. Wait, no! I'd expected as much. Let him vent his bile on me if he so wills it. I am not the child that I used to be. Amira, let us enter. I have a feeling this quest is going to make me very soft on Animan. Y'all know my weakness. My weakness is fancy pools in the entryway of houses. <laughs> Maybe he still can. I know. I have hope. Easily done. Nice place you got here, Annie. Oh my gosh, we can call him Annie, like Anakin. No, I'm. Now I know I'm truly in love. <gasps> the prodigal son returns. Heir to his mother's foolishness as always. Well, let me ask you, how far have you roamed, son, running away from me? This is horrible. Speak not of my mother, drunkard. You were never worthy of being her husband. Yet I was, and your father as well. Never forget that, boy. Your mother would still be alive if you children weren't such a handful. Shut your mouth, father. You've had this conversation before, and I've not the patience to listen to it again. You will listen to whatever I choose to tell you, Animan. 
Respect your father, Nightling. I am still the man of this family, and you will obey me! I'm just imagining him, like, drunk. Oh god, he has a sword out! Oh, he is serious. Yes, father. I, I lost my temper, and, and I apologize. Took you long enough to get here. It wouldn't hurt you to come and see your father now and again. Father, where is Moira, your daughter? What happened to her? What happened to her? Idiot boy! She's dead, murdered by the Kalashite fiends! How did this happen? How do you think? It was Serk the Kalashite. It was not enough for him to take my business. He had to take my Moira, too. But why would he kill her? She has nothing to do with your enmity. Do you understand nothing? He killed her because he could. For years, I embarrassed him amongst the merchants, undercut his prices, and stole his customers. When my business failed, he had a monopoly on the Cal Kalim Shan shipping routes. He would not be happy until I had nothing. By the end, Moira was all that, I, all that I had, and now he's taken her too. Where were the guards? Why was she not protected? The guards left months ago. I had no money to pay them with. Soon I will lose my house as well. What? Losing the house? Oh no. Time for patricide. <laughs> well, if he's not gonna inherit the house, I mean... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Mir's not that shallow. Sarek has taken all of it, all your mother's and sister's things. He didn't take it, father. You lost it. You lost it. I lost it because you abandoned your family. If you hadn't run away, Moira would still be alive. You should have been here to protect her, to save her from the brigands. I'm sorry. I, I did not know. Oh my god, my heart breaks for Adam. No, this is horrible. How dare you blame him? You should have been here, Animan. Never forget that. It is too late to save her, but your work is not finished, Anna. I imagine him as, like, you know what I'm getting? The vibe I'm getting from this guy is, like, um, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm blanking on his name from Lord of the Rings, um, Boromir and Faramir's father, the steward of Gondor. Why am I blanking on his name? Um, is giving me those vibes. Like, the really, like, emotionally and physically probably abusive father. <sighs> Your character is not shallow. I am, though. <laughs> My weakness. Nice pools in the entrance, but sure not shallow at all. Denethor, thank you! Yes, Denethor, steward of Gondor. Yeah, he's giving me Denethor vibes. Okay, your work is not yet finished. What What is he gonna do now? What can be done? Moira is dead. She can be avenged, Anamin. You must kill Serk and his son. It is the only way that Moira's spirit can be at rest. As for your friends, they would do well to help you, for Serk the Kalashite is a very wealthy man, and his goal shall be their reward. I must see Moira's remains first, father. It will take but a moment. Go then. She was cleansed on the pyre, and her ashes are kept in an urn by the pool. It was the place that Moira loved most of all. Wait, what? I don't believe this. What if she's not dead? Amira, come with me to Moira's urn. I, I would speak with you. Oh my gosh, number two. I'd rather not come with you. Cremated remains make me painfully aware of my mortality. It's quite depressing, really. I just like, I'm imagining that in like David's voice from Shit's Creek. <laughs> Very well, I shall follow you. This way. Oh my gosh. This way, well, like five well, steps away. This place. Though the choice seems clear and right, I am hesitant to take it. There are many who easily sidestep laws through wealth. Perhaps in this case it would be best to see why the law has failed so. To decide between justice and honor. Oh, it is a conundrum that would tie even Boo up in knots. I do not envy you. My decisions are usually easier than this. Like what kind of food I should buy for Boo this week. Denethor was given rough treatment in the films. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. Yeah, he definitely got a rough treatment in the films. It was a, it was a yikes. I need to actually read the books at some point. 
surely if Serk killed my sister, I must avenge her murder. Yet killing for the purpose of revenge is murder by the tenets of the Order. I know not what I should do. Hmm. Oh no. This is very Jedi. <laughs> The answer is obvious. Everything that is wrong with the situation is the product of this man Sarek's scheming. Your father's poverty and sister's death both. Sarek's life shall surely be forfeit for that of your sister's, and his wealth will become your father's. I don't like that his wealth will become his father's. Like... <sighs> oh, I don't know! I mean, we... <laughs> I feel like we... If we say number two, we're kind of a hypocrite because we literally just murdered all of the slavers at the Copper Coronet not like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> we clearly didn't uh, bring them to stand trial. <laughs> um, so yeah. I think the... Oh. What did Amira do? I think Amira is neutral good. Hmm. Number one is definitely more chaotic. But I feel like there's more to the story. Okay, no. We're gonna do number one. It was self-defense. They attacked you. It's true. It's true. Hey, Canada guy! How are you doing? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. We, we did have more information. It was pretty obvious what was going on. And they would have been murdered. Anyway, I think, because that's, like, illegal. Um, that's true. In this case, we don't know the full story, and I, I'm very hesitant to believe his father. Like, I feel like there's something else going on here. Y'all are right. Yeah. Roleplay time! Mm -hmm. Amira is definitely, I feel like she's not as like careful and calculating as someone like Animan is. I feel like number one is a little bit more, oh, I hate that we have to say your father is correct. So no, I don't think Amira would say your father is correct because she's very angry at him for how he's treated Animan. Um... Okay, number two. Do not let these thoughts of vengeance cloud your judgment. Killing for revenge is murder. Zerk must be brought to justice, and you must be the one to ensure that is done. What you say holds truth, yet, as my father says, I am honor-bound to find my sister's killer and take his life. Okay. If that's how you feel, we will help you find this murderer. So shall it be. We shall set things aright and rid this world of an evil man. Come, Amira, I must return to my father. Okay. We'll see how this goes. You have seen the grave of your sister, Anomin. Let this yeah. terrible act not go unpunished. Gird thy heart with righteous anger and slay thy sister's murderer. So shall it be done, father. Sayak will die for his deeds. Where might we find him? The dog huddles in his mansion in the bridge district, plotting further indignities for me. There's a huge house in the center, ill-gotten by the bastard, no doubt. And here, I procured a key for the place from one of his servants. Take it, Anamin. Go. Go and avenge our Moira. Let justice be done. Return to me when you have accomplished your task. Your friends may keep what treasure they find within Sarek's house, and I shall honor their names forevermore. Hmm. Okay. You are hardly the seem you hardly seem the cosmopolitan type, Amira, and you're obviously not a local. Who brought you to Athkatla? Do we tell her? His dad really rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, me too. I chose number two, and then he was like, "But I am honor bound to avenge her death," and I was like, "Okay, cool, we'll find him." So it was kind of like a mixture. 
Yeah, it is like a hardening, softening vibe. Totally. Alistair King versus Warden. Yeah, it seems too straightforward. Hi, LH, how are you doing? It does seem too straightforward. There's, there must be more to the story. I'm guessing that when we go there, we'll get some more. Yeah, some more info. Yeah, I think what Amira wants is what's best for Anoman. And I don't know if she thinks the order is best for Anoman. Like, it seems like it might be, but then, like, if adhering to his, like, strict vows would prevent him, would, like, lead to him regretting not avenging his sister's death or, like, not pursuing this, that would be worse, I think. Um, you had D&D &D earlier? Oh, nice! How was it? You've been looking for an hour? That's awesome! I hope you're doing well, my friend. It's so good to see you. Feel free to keep lurking, too, if you want to. No pressure. It wasn't by choice, I can tell you that much. One of this quest of yours, I would know what I'm getting into before I find myself throat deep in another's problems. My childhood friend and I were kidnapped by a mage who experimented on and tortured us. I escaped, but he still has Im- he still has Imowen. I must find her. Had I any close friends, I'm sure I'd feel the same. You don't have any close friends? No, we'll be your friend. We'll get your friend back, Amira. I promise you that. Aw, oh, that was such a lovely little conversation. Thank you, Hexat. I'm glad we have your support. At once. Okay, back to the bridge district. That was nice, yeah! Heavy RP tonight. Most of it didn't involve my character, but that's okay. It's still fun to listen to my friends play. Your turtle monk doesn't need to say a lot. Oh, that sounds so fun! I love it when there's a heavy role-playing session. Good stuff. Okay, back to the bridge. Way laid! Fun times! Dum. Oh, let's get the spellcaster. I love this. Oh, we need to sell some stuff. No, I can't carry anymore. Oh, I hear I can sorry, carry I no more. What was given ready. is now upon the ground. You know what? We should really go sell Whatever stuff before need. we go to this place and get more loot. Of course. Back to Joaquin's promenade. Yay, we didn't get waylaid this time. Adventurer Mart. That seems that seems right. Very well. The Mart of the Adventurer. Waylaid! Code Girls, your DD group somehow ended up in the past in the bodies of famous heroes. That's so cool! That's so creative, I love that. What famous heroes? Are they, like, actual, like, historical figures from the real mm -hmm. world? Or are they from, like, a specific, Not like, a fantasy setting? I'm so curious. That sounds cool. Ribald Bartman at your service. Ribald Bartman. <laughs> I love this guy. Yes, there are some items we're interested in. 
music to my ears. Okay. Winter wolf pelt, nice. Da -da -da. What if we sold the bag? <laughs> Do you think she'd be so mad at us? Selling our junk, sell. Oh, that's expensive. I'm selling it. I love the music in this area. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That there must be something special about that necklace. Oh my gosh. Why do we have skulls? Why did I do that? What am I doing? Oh, incomplete skeleton? <gasps> Were we supposed to pick all of them up or something? Oh no. We have to go back. Okay, let's have Aerie learn some of these scrolls that we haven't learned yet. Like Monster Summoning 2. Oh, we had two of them. Detect Illusion. We already have Fireball, apparently. Armor! Chromatic Orb! Feeble Mind! Ooh, it reduces intellect. Cool. You feel your mind becoming feeble. Oracle cancels all illusion or phantasm spells of fifth level and lower. The spells affected are reflected image, invisibility, mirror image, non-detection, improved invisibility, and shadow door. Nice. Okay, we already have hold person. <gasps> Cursed scroll of foolishness! I threw it on the ground! <laughs> Protection from electricity. Cool. Okay, now we can sell all of those because uh, we know she knows them already. I can carry no more. What okay, and I'm in. I get it, I get it. I get it. Okay, these spells look fancy. I've never seen these before. Minor spell deflection. Okay, she already has that. Stone to flesh? Oh, that would have been helpful. Or I think that must have been the scroll we used to turn Branwen from stone. Or to like save her because she was a statue when we first met her in Baldur's Gate 1. She has never failed at copying a spell. I'm going to save just in case. I don't know if that's like an enhanced edition thing or if she's just so good. Summon Nishru. What? A wizard calls into existence a magical being of considerable power. The Nishru. Or Nishru. Not sure. At first glance, this appears to be some sort of mist. But upon closer examination, this boiling, churning red mass of vapors and shapes moves with a life of its own. Drawn toward magic like a moth to the flame, the Nishru feed on the energy surrounding and used by wizards. Luckily, there is no question as to the loyalty of the creature, and it will not attack its summoner even though it would like nothing better. The Nishru have no physical attacks at all, although physical attacks can hurt them. Each time a Nishru touches a target wizard and wraps its tendrils around him, the wizard loses one random spell of the highest level currently memorized? <gasps> what? Oh, that is so good. Level six spell. Oh, y'all! That sounds epic, right? Yeah! If you sell without her seeing by the time she realizes it's gonna be too late for her. Wait, what? I missed it. Hey, Lou! Lots of clutter, I know. It's interesting, we're fighting off giants and dragons currently. Nice! Sadly, the details of these battles aren't really known in our time. Neat if limited spell. The summon Nishru one? It does seem pretty neat. I'm excited. Ooh, Death Fog! The casting of a Death Fog spell creates an area of solid fog that has the additional property of being highly acidic. 
all animal life not immune to acid suffers eight points of damage for each round. Huh. Animal life. Instantly kills all summoned creatures. What? Dang. That's super cool. Okay. All right, let's sell our extra scrolls. Yes, as you Adventure wish. Mark, the finest shopping in all of Feyre. Widest selection, lowest prices, and nary a fancy illustration. Just the goods, fair and plain. <laughs> I love that. All right, Airy. Selling all the scrolls time. Oh yeah. Emerald. Ooh, yay. Wait, did that not work? Oh, there's just multiple stacks. Stacks on stacks of the gems. Oh yeah, and I was gonna check the necklace that Anima is carrying. What is this you have here? The necklace is a piece of ornamental metal jewelry. That's it? It's nothing special? I'm gonna save and like put it on and see what happens. Nothing? Okay. I guess it's just a fancy necklace. I stand amongst the righteous. We'll hold on to that one for now. The amplifier. Extra second level wizard spell. Oh, but she couldn't wear it, right? Oh no, she can wear it. Wait, that seems really good. Why aren't we wearing that one? What's the shield one? The duration of the spell, the wearer will have a base armor class of four. Okay, maybe for big battles we could do that one, but I feel like the amplifier is uh, what we want to have on her. Can anyone else wear the shield? Let's do it on Shakira. Cool. I feel good about that. Let's sell the what is necklace. It? Cool. Okay, I think we're looking a little better. We can fit some more stuff now. Letter of transfer. This is a letter given to you by Renal Bloodscalp. But it will gain you access to Maevar's guild house so that you may infiltrate his guild. Oh yeah, that whole quest for Yoshimo. We need to make sure we do that at some point. Lots of quest items stacking up here. This is also a quest item. This is a quest item. And the skulls, I'm not too sure what to do with. Oh, we didn't sell those ones. Do you need at once. Or hell spawn one more here. round here. We've All got some more. Is the deal. Ribald's here to make one with you. All right. Tell me. We're all set. Oh, I mean, Hacktad's bag is not... It is used to revive her when she dies. No, you got it. I just didn't know what you meant by um, it. <laughs> I, had, I had forgotten. <laughs> it will be too late for her if she doesn't notice. That would be so sad. If you don't pay gold to identify items, read you always use spells. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Eh. Of course. I'm not too bothered. All right, now we need to go to what is it, the bridge district? Okay. Wait, we we already did that. What? Oh, here we go. Oh, I guess we advised anyone to take revenge. Oh no! I thought, okay, I guess we changed our minds on that. Hmm. Okay, center of the bridge district, let's go. Who is this? Laneth, hello? Very well. No. Stay back. 
I've got a knife. I won't go with you. What is happening? Come, child. There's no need for this. Your mother is with us. She's waiting for you. You're lying. My mother isn't with you. She's... She's... She sent us to fetch you, my dear. Take my hand and you shall see. Warwick, Ellis, watch the sides. Get away from her, you witch! What is this? Who's hey, this? Kiddo, I need you to take this and squeeze it real hard, alright? Nira! Wait! She's an enhanced edition character, right? I feel like I recognize her. Because I think she was also added to Baldur's Gate 1 enhanced edition, so we did not meet her. But I think if we played enhanced, we would have met her, right? She is? Oh. <gasps> We are fighting up. Oh yeah, that does sound so cool. Yes, we love hearing about D&D. The question mark button in the vendor menu when you sell stuff is to identify items. <gasps> That's great. That might be worth it. Our main character likes to help the local economy by keeping store owners busy identifying things. <laughs> we really should do that. She's in- yeah, okay, that's right, that's right. I thought I recognized her. I think not. Modded out the EE characters. I love the updates, but the EE characters kind of break the flow of the game. Yeah, I would, I'd imagine that it's hard. Like, even, like, Hexat feels very different to me. Like, the, the conversations that we can have with her just feel really different than the other conversations. Um, it's honestly more like the, the dialogue that your, that your character can say, like, the player character can say, just feels different. It's like, it feels more like the Dragon Age uh, wheel. Where there's like the kind of polite diplomatic response, there's like the sassy, funny response, and then there's like the more like direct response. Um, rather than having like six or seven options and they're all kind of all over the place. Okay, she wants the kid to squeeze something real hard. What's going on? Who are you? I'm Nira. I'm gonna take you somewhere safe. Just take the talisman, alright? Okay. Is this a trick? Are you trying to hurt me? Step away from the child, elf. She's ours. Half elf. And if you don't get out of here, things are gonna get really ugly. As ugly as that witch and her trick. <laughs> Squeeze the talisman. I'll be right behind you. Get her before- Yes! I knew you had it in you. <laughs> Sorry, witch and witch lackeys. She's safe now. You didn't think this through, did you? Not real well. Oh, she used her last before. talisman. Another one eludes us. Why did you hesitate, Warwick? Ellis, you should have grabbed the child before she had a chance to teleport. I suppose the fault is as much mine as yours. I was the one who trusted you, after all. Come along. Okay, we can just- oh, okay, we didn't do anything. We just witnessed it. Fun! Okay, the center of the bridge district. This is the estate? That's enormous! Wow. The original scripts were written in a different time. The newer characters- exactly. I'm sure if we met her on- BG1, this would all sound better, but right now I don't think either should be near the child, I know! I agree. Can we heal, please? Whatever you need. Not a problem. So when we use magic, we don't get taken by the cowled wizards, but they like appeared in that first cutscene. Wait, I feel like we're going in the wrong entrance. Is this right? We're going in. Um, but yeah, they appeared when 
in response to Irenicus and Imowen using magic. Stupid, and there'll be no problems. Who the blazes are you? Oops. I guess we're your enemy. Sorry. We are up in here. Okay, he has a better mansion than you, Animen. I'm sorry to say. <gasps> what just happened? Uh oh. What is the meaning of all this commotion? What is going on here? Oh. oh father, I heard some noise. I see at last the serpent slithers out of hiding to reveal himself. Come then, fiend, and prepare to be dealt righteous vengeance. What is this? Ah, oh, I see that old lizard core has finally sent his whelp to deal with me, eh? You will not speak my father's name! This is Animan? Oh, can I- Oh, this is the son. This is Animan? Oh, can I kill him, father, please? Of course you can, Yusuf. I will take whatever opportunity I can to strike at Kor's heart. And this one has all but fallen into our laps. So you admit it! You admit to your part in Moria's murder! I admit to nothing. I've already cut out your father's heart and soul by stealing every last piece of business he has. I've ruined him and beaten him down like the mukra dog that he is. And here you give me the opportunity to strike at him again, his son, thundering into my home. It would only be right to defend ourselves, no? Kalashite demon, I know that you murdered my poor innocent sister. I will see you dead and rotting for that deed, I swear. Ah, yes, we all know the worth of the vow of Adelrin. I hope the girl rots in her grave, boy. It is all that you and your family deserve. Oh, no. D I'm, c I'm confused. He's not, like, denying that he killed her, but it's unclear if he did. You spit upon her memory? Very well, demon. I shall teach you the pain of losing one so dear. Uh-oh. You are a stranger to this <gasps> place. Father, I help me! I've seen you on the streets ere now. Soraya! No, stop! V very well, Delrin. You have made your point. I, I beg you not to harm this innocent, innocent flower of my house. And did Moira beg for her life before it was taken? Was she any less innocent than this girl? Was she too part of your quarrel with my father? I think not. No! We've done a terrible thing! You shall pay for that crime with equal measure! Ah! Oh no! What the fudge? Okay, Animate, when we said avenge your sister's death, that is not what we meant. Can we just reload that whole thing? I- I've made a mistake. <gasps> Wiz- oh, I see. Violent criminal confirmed! <laughs> no, I thought we were gonna kill the guy who killed her, not his da innocent daughter! <laughs> not the same thing! <laughs> Love of this family is just transparently Arabic because no attempt to disguise it with a veneer fantasy lore. Oh wait, really? I did not know that. What does that mean? Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Okay, well character development from anime everybody. <laughs> he's 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 looking more like Anakin every day. <laughs> I killed them all, the women, the children. By the gods, you foolish man. Can you say that this young woman was a murderer as well? You've murdered an innocent. She's no innocent, I tell you. None of this family is. Say what you will. Not even the order will tell me differently. All of these dogs will die. My daughter! You wish war between us whelp very well. Guards! Declare yourself. Wait, what? Oh no, I missed it. 
Oh, interesting. Lawful evil! We didn't mean it! No good deed goes unpunished, y'all. Oh. It was um, an unintended consequence. <laughs> Cast detect alignment. <laughs> what? I don't. Huh. Interesting. What's the Arab thing? A daughter for a sister? Hmm. Okay, well, this is interesting. I'm just letting them go. Maybe I, maybe I should control this more. Who's the spellcaster? Someone did a spell. Go for the go for the guy. Ooh. Oh, our vampire lady is kind of useless. Oh no. Okay, this is very hard. I'm kind of overwhelmed. I don't really like the AI. I feel like everything's happening too quickly. Reload! Hmm? Can you not take a- Oh my gosh, what is this thing around him? It's like swords. Gosh. This is horrid. Get him with an acid arrow. Wow, this guy's taking no damage. Oh my gosh. Domination. Oh, did we get Yusef? I shall get you for this one day, I swear I shall! Oh, Animan's down! Yes. Ah! How do I go back? Oh no, Minsk! Oh no, Ares down too! Oh, we're done. What is it? Come on! We might be able to do, we might be able to do this! Wait, Minsk, stop! Don't attack me! Stop! Minsk, stop it! Okay, this is a disaster. We need to reload. I hate this! Oh, it's time to read the This is a terrible ending. Bold. When things go so You're not allowed to say bad things about me, apparently. Pretty sure it's illegal. Oh my gosh. This battle's going so badly. How unfortunate. Time to reload. Oh, it's time to reload. Abominable! Interesting! <laughs> I don't think she got this. Hey, we did it! <laughs> Two people left. Guys, oh, I really want to go back and advise him against this. I hadn't... <sighs> that was terrible! That is not what I meant! Why did he have to do that? We're going back. We're a hundred percent going back. Declare yourself. We're doing it yes, again. Very well. But I hate I hate that it's one or the other. Like stick to a stupid like Jedi Order code. Or literally murder an innocent woman. <laughs> like 
heir to his mother's foolishness as always. Well, let me ask you, how far have you roamed, son, running away from me? Whispers. <sighs> My evil chaotic heart says to keep it. Yeah, like, I feel like... The things that I said the first time felt like the right thing to do, but the outcome is very much not what Amira would have wanted. But maybe we should just live with that. But I really don't, I don't like, it doesn't feel right for this playthrough. It feels like the bad thing. You're just reporting someone for a crime and letting law enforcement do their jobs. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, interesting! I didn't even know that, Raptor. I just thought it was a pretty name. I was like, oh, Amira. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try the other one and see how that goes. Maybe the game will troll me and then we'll just like do- it'll have the exact same outcome. I hope for the most chaotic. Yeah, this is definitely- I'm not aiming for a chaotic playthrough. Speak not of my mother, drunkard. You were never worthy of being her husband. And I was, and your father as well. Never forget that, boy. Your mother would still be alive if you children weren't such a handful. Shut your mouth. We've had this conversation before, and I have not the patience to listen to it again. <laughs> we have uh, had this conversation before, literally. Okay, you will obey me! Respect your father! Yes, father. I lost my temper, and I apologize. They set it up as coming through as dubious because of the source. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking like maybe they didn't kill her, but it seems like they did. Took you long enough to get here. Wouldn't hurt you to come and see your father now and again. Father, where is Moira, your daughter? What happened to her? Idiot boy, she's dead. Murdered by the Kalashite fiends. How did this happen? How do you think? It was Sarek the Kalashite. It was not enough for him to take my business. He had to take my Moira too. Why would he kill her? She has nothing to do with your enmity. Do you understand nothing? He killed her because he could. For years I embarrassed him among the merchants, undercut his prices, and stole his customers. When my business failed, he had a monopoly on the Kalimshan shipping routes. He would not be happy until I had nothing. By the end, Moira was all that I had, and now he's taken her too. Where were the guards? Why was she not protected? The guards left months ago. I had no money to pay them with. Soon I will lose my house as well. Sarek has taken all of it. All of your mother's and sister's things. You didn't take it, father. You lost it. You lost it. I lost it because you abandoned your family. If you hadn't run away, Moira would still be alive. You should have been here to protect her, to save her from the brigands. Okay. We have We can skip some of this. It's not too late to save her. What can be done? She's dead. Animan, you must kill Sarek and his son. Duh, it's the only way. I must see Moira's remains first, father. It will take but a moment. Amira, come with me to Moira's urn. I would speak with you. Very well. I shall follow. I know, right, Canada guy? Same. Same. I am well worried by what has gone on in this place. Magical cremation. Though the choice seems clear and right. I am hesitant to take it. There are many who easily sidestep laws through wealth. Perhaps in this case it would be best to see why the law has failed so. To decide between justice and honor! Oh, it's a conundrum that would tie even Boo up in knots! I do not envy you. My decisions are usually easier than this. Surely if Sir killed my sister, I must avenge her murder. Yet killing for the purpose of revenge is murder by the tenets of the Order. I know not what I should do. Do not let these thoughts of vengeance cloud your judgment. Killing for revenge is murder. Sirk must be brought to justice, and you must be the one to ensure that is done. What you say holds truth. Yet as my father says, I'm honor-bound to find my sister's killer and take his life. Okay, we're going for number two this time. We'll see what happens. If you are honor-bound to the vows you made to the Order, the path you're considering as evil, Animan, do not take it. Aye, that is right. I feel it on my bones. I've li lived under the bitterness of my father's spirit my entire life. 
and has tainted me to the point where I am willing to partake in it. He can keep his hatred and drown in his, drown his sorrows as he, as he always has done. Yet the question of my sister's murder remains. Oh, this is so much better. Oh! I don't know why, just something about the dialogue option the first time felt like we were, like, forcing him to, like, adhere to the code or something, and, like... Because it, it's often more... It's not just black and white, and I hate it when it's like, oh, this is right and this is wrong. I'm definitely chaotic. <laughs> Raptor. <laughs> We really do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yes, thank you! This is what I wanted to say before! To be honest, I'm not sure that I trust your father's version of events. All that he speaks to speaks of seems to be colored by his hatred of Serik. They have always been mortal enemies. If my sister was indeed murdered, then the magistrate would have investigated. My father's revenge be damned. I have sworn to uphold the law, and unlike him, I shall do so. Come, let us return to my father. He may yet be convinced to follow the lawful path. It is not my place to take revenge. Such an act would lead to chaos. This is better. This is better already. I don't know why I did the other one. What is it? You have seen the lifeless ashes of your sister, Animan. Let not this terrible act go unpunished. Gird thy heart with a righteous anger and slay thy sister's murderer. Nay, father. It is time for this foolishness to end. What do you mean to say, Anamin? Only that killing Serk in vengeance would be murder as surely as my sister's death was. The destruction of evil is never considered to be murder. Do not these knights that you seek to join take such missions themselves? Not in the manner that you suggest. We must take these charges to the magistrate. That is the only way to end this circle of violence that you've trapped us within. That makes sense. I'm- I'm feeling this. You fool, boy. The magistrate will do nothing. She is a pawn of Serk. Vilana Inalan- Ianalan is a good and noble woman. You said this yourself before you slipped into the foul clutch of the drink. You dishonor Moira's memory. You would allow the killer of your sister to go free? You are despicable. You are an insect. Wow. Thanks, Dad. I will not allow him to go free. He shall be taken before the courts if he is indeed the one who murdered my sister. How can you doubt such a thing, boy? Serk is the killer. Do you have proof, Father? The proof lies in the fact that he's taken everything else from me. Killing Moira would complete my defeat. Aha. Aye, now I see. Such has always been the case in this household. This is about you and only you. Your daughter's death means nothing beyond how it affects your pride and your comfort. This is so much better! Oh my gosh! I really messed up last time. Boy, you've fallen in with evil. Step back from the line and honor your family before it's too late. I will not, father. I suggest no evil. I suggest the lawful path. Again I say, obey me, Anamin. I have obeyed you all my life and received naught but bitterness in return. My friend and I shall take this matter to the magistrate, as the law requires. If you step out that door, then you must never come within again. Don't do this, father. Shut your mouth! If you leave now, you are forever banished from this place. You will be cast from this family and become a nameless dog, not fit to cower at my feet! Oh my gosh, this guy's the worst! I have been cowering at your feet for all my life. Goodbye, father. Perhaps I shall see you again before you drink yourself to death. Oh my god, this is so much better! I love that we get to, like... Help Animan kind of free himself from his dad. This is so much better. You are nothing, boy. Nothing. Come, Amira. Let us leave. We should go and see the magistrate in the Council of Six Building and see if anything can be done, despite Father's venom. Oh my gosh, what? This is so different. <gasps> There's right and wrong in this subquest, IMO. It's so interesting, though, because it didn't- it was not obvious to me the first time, which was, like, right path to me. Because I- yeah, I just didn't realize that we would be locked into that path after saying that. It was not obvious to me at all. But now- <laughs> now I see it. He's lawful alignment. Yeah, it, it does fit. It fits.
I need to sell stuff again, but phew, I feel strongly about this quest. Yeah. What do you think? Did we do the right the right one? Anyone has a good story? Hi, Legion Grey, how are you doing? Yeah, this is so interesting. I feel I feel good that we reloaded. I was not feeling good after murder. After he murdered that innocent person, I was like, oh no. They all do, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's not obvious because you get caught up. It looks like you're being pushed to take a quest. Yeah, exactly. When you get the final resolution of this, we'll tell you about the other option. That sounds great. Yes. Okay, now we have to do our... Let's do this conversation and then I'll close out stream for the night because it's getting late. But we will finish Animan's quest next time. You're obviously not a local. What brought you to Athcatla? It wasn't by choice, I can tell you that much. What of this quest of yours? I would know what I'm getting into before I find myself throat deep in another's problems. My childhood friend and I were kidnapped by a mage who experimented on and tortured us. I escaped, but he still has Imoen. I must find her. Had I any close friends, I'm sure I'd feel the same. We'll get your friend back, Amira. I promise you that. Okay! Okay, I feel so much better. <gasps> we messed up. Real bad. But it's okay. <laughs> That's what we're naming the save. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, my friends. Thank you so much for being here at the tavern. This was so much fun. Thanks for bearing with me messing up the quest and then figuring it out. You know, you live and you learn. <laughs> Sometimes it's not obvious.